How's it everyone? Welcome to another Versus string review right here on Open Court. So I have tried every single Solinco polyester out on the market except for these two. These are the last polys that I have yet to try and I will have tried every polyester that Solinco has to offer. And these are both quote unquote soft versions of two of the most popular Solinco polys on the market. So I thought it would be fun to kind of pit them against each other in a Versus review. What strings are these? These are the Solinco Hyper G Soft and the Tourbite Soft. Let's check them out. So Hyper G and Tourbite, you know them, you love them. These are two of the most popular polyester strings on the market. Tourbite is personally my favorite Solinco polyester and it is one of my top five current favorite polyesters. I retried the Hyper G recently after trying it a few years ago. I didn't really love it then. I don't really love it now, but I still do think it's a very good string. It's just that Tourbite does everything a little bit better for my game, mostly because of that feel. These are both soft versions of Hyper G and Tourbite, and I always get requests to review softer strings. I don't personally like softer strings, but I do want to try some more for you guys to see how they perform against their non-soft counterparts because these are both very stiff strings. So Hyper G and Tourbite, I'm sure you guys know, are shaped strings, so they bite the ball, they grip it very well, and they impart tremendous amounts of spin. So for this play test, I have both the Hyper G Soft and the Tourbite str uh, Soft strung up in the same racket. These are both the same racket. This is the 2013 Head Speed uh, Graphene Speed Pro. This is the first edition of the Graphene. These are both the same racket. This is just a limited edition paint job. So I wanted to keep them in the same racket at the same tension. So I strung them both at 52 pounds. And one thing I did notice, interestingly, I did string this both at the same tension, but they have a different pitch right off the bat. I haven't hit with them, but I wonder if you can hear this. You guys hear that? The Hyper G has a lower pitch. So that's interesting. Usually the higher pitch sound, the more tension that it retains, but I haven't hit with these yet. I just wanted to point that out. So as I usually do with Versus reviews, I'm going to pit these strings against each other in various categories, such as power, spin, control, tension, maintenance, etc. And I'm going to see which one comes out on top as my personal favorite. So let's get into that. But before we do, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button if you guys like this content to keep the reviews coming. So I played both singles and doubles with both the Hyper G Soft and Tour Bite Soft and I noticed something interesting. Neither string was as soft as I thought it would be. They were definitely both softer than their original counterparts, but not as soft as the difference between something like Vocal Cyclone and Cyclone Tour. The difference between these Solinco strings is more akin to Luxlon Alu Power and Alu Power Soft. That being said, I was thrilled because I don't like super soft, super mushy strings, but if you're looking for something really soft, I think you can find more comfortable strings on the market. With all that said, let's start this versus review with the first category, Comfort. Both of these strings felt fairly comfortable for me despite being in a stiff racket with a tight pattern. I had no arm issues when exchanging ground strokes from the baseline or firming up my grip on the volleys. Shots hit outside the sweet spot did have a noticeably stiffer sensation, but by no means was it jarring and painful. That being said, I'll be honest, I'm not the best judge when it comes to comfort because I have a healthy arm and I like stiffer setups. But overall, the winner here was the Hyper G Soft. When freshly strung, I couldn't notice much difference in the elasticity of the string bed, but as the playtest wore on, I noticed the Hyper G becoming softer, so if you're looking for comfort, the Hyper G Soft takes the cake. Next category is Power. This goes hand in hand with comfort as softer strings will almost always have more power due to the flexibility of the string bed. When the ball impacts the strings, the strings will form a pocket around the ball and shoot it back out while retaining kinetic energy. So I don't have to say much here because the Hyper G Soft was softer so it had more power than the Tour Bite Soft. Shots hit in the upper sweet spot such as a forehand ground stroke or a flat serve had noticeably more power because I could really feel the string bed pocketing the ball. If you can consistently make contact in the upper sweet spot, you'll find good power with both of these strings, but the Hyper G Soft edges out the Tour Bite in terms of assistance with power. Next, let's talk about spin. 
Both strings have similar shaped profiles and grab the ball really well so it's difficult to definitively say one is superior to the other in spin generation. However, I did notice just a bit more rotation from one. On the ground strokes, there was no discernible difference. However, the area I judge spin potential most is on my kick serve because spin must be imparted with proper technique and pronation. That being said, I did notice a bit more kicking action from the Tour Bite Soft. I believe the reason for this is because the Tour Bite plays a bit crisper and more lively so the ball seems to come off a bit faster. I think this liveliness leads to a bit more snapback and ball rotation. It's interesting because the Hyper G Soft feels like it pockets better for more power but the Tour Bite Soft feels like it snaps back better for more spin. But at the end of the day, this wasn't a huge difference and both strings are great for assisting with spin. Next, let's talk about control. There was a clear winner in this category for me. I'm an aggressive player and I like to take full swings from the baseline, especially on my return of serves. The confidence I get from the strings plays a big part in my game. The string that made me feel more connected to my shots and allowed me to play my aggressive first strike style of tennis was the Tour Bite Soft. It does feel a little stiffer, which does help with control, but it was mostly the direct feedback I got from the strings that allowed me to stay on the gas with confidence. The slightly stiffer feel also made it so my aggressive flat shots, such as my cross court backhand, landed inside the lines as well. With the Hyper G Soft, the same shot would travel a bit farther and sometimes land out. Many people like original Hyper G for the control, which is understandable, but the Tour Bite Soft just edges out Hyper G Soft because it gave me confidence on all my shots and kept my strokes inside the court. Next up is Feel, also another category where there was a clear winner. I'm not going to keep you guys in suspense with this one, the feel was clearly better on the Tour Bite Soft. Feel is a subjective issue and many people like different types of feels but for me, crisper and more responsive strings suit my style more. The original Tour Bite is one of the crispest polys I've ever played with and the soft version, although quite a bit mushier, still plays with that lively response. Feel from the baseline for me has to do with just how accurately I can place my aggressive shots. I feel much more comfortable aiming for smaller targets with the Tour Bite. Feel also influences my touch shots such as drop shots, angle volleys, short angle topspin, and lobs. When I slow down my swing, the impact response tends to become less direct. So Tour Bite Soft, which naturally sends more vibrations down my arm, is better for my finesse game. The feel is arguably one of the defining differences between Tour Bite and Hyper G, and for me, the Tour Bite Soft is the clear victor. Next is Tension Maintenance. This is not a huge priority for me as I cut out strings once a month or so, but I know this is a huge importance for many people. That being said, I noticed a bit of a tension drop after the first play session from the Hyper G Soft. This was expected as softer strings tend to lose tension faster and the Hyper G Soft felt softer than the Tour Bite. But once the tension dropped, it stayed stable for the duration of the playtest. The Tour Bite Soft gradually lost tension and eventually caught up and stabilized just like the Hyper G Soft. I didn't play with the strings long enough to see if there would be a second sharper drop off, so if someone has tried both and noticed the difference, please help us out in the comments. Also, durability wasn't something I could really test because I don't play with these long enough for them to snap. But honestly, the periods where the tension stabilized and played predictably lasted equally as long so I think both strings will play well for multiple hours. That being said, the winner here for me would be Tour Bite Soft only because the initial drop off wasn't quite as severe and I could adjust gradually and it didn't affect my game. And lastly, I usually would touch on other factors such as value and gauge choices, but these strings provide virtually identical options. Both strings are the same price and will last about the same length, so they are both decent value strings. Both have the same gauge options, so no difference there. And either would do well in a poly poly hybrid with a smooth round cross string that will allow the mains to snap back well. I'm usually not a fan of shaped strings as a hybrid with multi or nylon strings, but because both of these strings are soft, they could pair well with a non poly string as well. So the other factors are a tie. With all that being said, which string is the winner for me? I knew this would be the result going into this, but the contest was closer than I thought it would be. Both strings allowed me to play well from behind the baseline with power, precision, defense, and finesse. At the net, there was a bigger difference as one string clearly allowed me to play my deceptive touch game better. So no point in trying to hide it as I'm sure all of you have guessed it by now. The winner for this versus string review is the Tour Bite Soft. I just felt more connected to every shot with the Tour Bite and it would be the string I would choose to take into a league match. 
The Hyper G Soft is good too, and I appreciate that neither string is super mushy. Some people probably are hoping the strings would be much softer than their non-soft counterparts, but I like that Solinko didn't overdo it with the comfort. So that wraps up my thoughts on these strings. Now I've tried every Solinko Poly on the market. They are mostly great strings and I highly recommend trying them out. So now it's your turn. What do you guys think about Solinko Polys? Have you tried both the Tourbite and Hyper G Soft? If you have, let me know which one is the winner for you in the comments and if you have any other versus string ideas, please let me know. Thank you for watching this versus review of the Solinko Hyper G Soft and Tour Bite Soft right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.